Welcome to Classic Game Room, where you know I love Star Wars. As long as Jar Jar's not in it, and he's definitely not in this book. The art of Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back, my favorite Star Wars film. So, let's check this out. I meant to review this a couple months ago, with the debut of my Star Wars podcast. And review of Star Wars The Force Awakens, but... For one reason or another, didn't get to it, so I will now. And working here on the beginnings of the new studio. You can see we get some beautiful artwork from one of my all-time favorite artists, Ralph McQuarrie. Ralph McQuarrie is just an absolute genius. He was a really talented guy. Did the painting that for that, and uh, here you can see what you get in this book. A lot of production drawings, pre-production drawings, sketches. Uh, this thing is called the Probot. <laughs> oh yeah, love this thing. This book's uh, a bit old by now. Came out about twenty some years ago. I'm not even sure if it's in print anymore. Here's one of the background paintings. Now they would just use crappy CGI. And uh, currently, I have a dog behind the Neo Geo. What are you doing back there? Some Tauntaun sketches. So if you're a big fan of The Empire Strikes Back like me, this book is really cool. It's fun to read through it and see where a lot of this stuff that we know so well now came from. And uh, they actually have the art of Star Wars for all of the at least first three Star Wars films. The first three Star Wars films. I do not count the prequels as being actual Star Wars films. There's the beloved Tauntaun. And some pre-production sketches, once again. It's, I, like, I like to see how things changed. I mean, the ad ad looks an awful lot like the ad ad, but not exactly, you know? So that's pretty cool. I think it was a wise move to not make that liquid red for this scene. It looks like they're boiling Skywalker alive in there. <laughs> There's that thing. And uh, my favorite stormtroopers, the snow stormtroopers. You can see how they... How they sort of evolved here. So it's a very cool book. Very cool book. Highly recommended. That's pretty big too, you can see. Many pages. Look at this, we get blueprints. Oh yeah. One of my favorites, Snow Speeder. You can see how these designs evolved over time again. It, this is the kind of stuff that I think makes The Empire Strikes Back and the original Star Wars films about the best films ever made. I mean, this is just really good. Very imaginative. You know, a lot of thought was put into this. I mean, granted, these things are completely useless. They would have no practical uh, reason for existence whatsoever. But, I mean, they don't put this kind of time into modern movies anymore. They just, they just don't. It costs too much. There's one of my favorite paintings. Let's jump ahead here a bit to Dagobah, uh, which isn't quite as exciting as Hoth, but you can see some of the Yoda sketches, which, these, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like him the way they eventually made him. These, these early sketches I'm not so wild about, but looks like a deformed gremlin or something. And you know who this guy is without the galactic swagger. This is pre-swagger Lando. Here we got Han Solo waiting for hot Leia. She was hot. Really cool production drawings. And there's some information about each of the drawings in the book as well. So you can learn quite a bit about how they made the Empire Strikes Back in here. I still have this toy. It's a cool toy. And you know this scene. The, seriously? Who invited this jackass to dinner? Everything you ever wanted to know about Star Wars. But didn't even think to ask. It's all right here. Freaking Ugnaughts, look at those things. 
They are ugly. These days, I imagine you have to check on eBay for something like this. I picked this up from a bookstore when it was relatively new. And uh, I love it. I've read, I've read it cover to cover a couple times. And this whole series... I've seen the other ones. I don't have them, but this whole series is very cool. So, once again, check it out. The Art of Star Wars by these people. And uh, this, this originally has, what, a 1980 copyright? Oh, this must be the reissue. That's about right. 1994. That's about when I, that's about when I bought this. So, Highly recommended, The Art of Empire Strikes Back. Oh, snow speeders. Love them. In the movie, if you look closely at when they're filming from this angle, it looks like there's a uh, boombox beside the pilot. Which obviously there should be. I mean, if you're going to blow a badass in a snowspeeder, you should be rocking out to some good tunes while you're doing it. That just goes without saying. And that was the first review filmed from the shelves in progress. The archive room being constructed. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Strabenmuller from Vienna, Austria! Cue the thunder! Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar! Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, fighter of space bees. Woo. Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Nelson. Fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will? Will. Will.